Hello Louisiana Beer Reviews, Georgia Beer Reviews. We're looking at a famous beer called Dogfish Head Worldwide Stout. A very rare beer. I can't get it in Georgia, so of course I had to pick up a four pack. It's not cheap. I think it was what, 38 bucks for the four pack? Um, Basically $10 a bottle. Yeah, so 15 to 20% ABV. It's not specific because each batch varies slightly, but the IBUs are 70. Uh, it was introduced in 1999. And it did really well, so they continued to make it every year. And its uh, release is from May to August, but you could probably buy it year-round. Um, you know, I'm sure the stores keep it in stock because it, it, you know, it's expensive. People aren't buying it every day. Uh, and it says on the bottle, ages well. They do recommend actually aging this beer. They say it develops very nicely over the years. Um, and we've got the perfect glass. It says glassware. Wow. I, have, I have one question. What's that? If they want you to age it. Why don't they age it before they release? They age it for you. Yeah. Time. Yeah. And you get and you get the perfect space the beer. Space and you know time that it would take to age it. They'd have to charge three times as much. Well, I'm, I'm putting them to age it or not. Yeah. Us. Well. Okay. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this. Uh, it's pouring like a. Look at that brown ale. Like liquor. <laughs> like a nut brown ale in appearance. And you use the don't Church of the Sacred. Move it. You use Church of the Sacred Brew. I don't know why you plug in somebody else right now. Because that's our friend, Mike, at Church of the Sacred Brews, opener. And um, you have probably had this, Mike Papa Peters. Oh, undoubtedly. Whoa, look how fast those bubbles are dissipating. Yeah, these kind of beers don't hold the foam action too nah. much. Alcohol cuts through it. It is... Well, thanks for letting us sample this right, rum. Thanks, yeah. John. This black rum. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually dark brown. You can, when you hold it up to the light, you can, you know, see through it a little bit. Yeah, it's got that kind so of... So it's not as dark as a lot of the stuff. You know, some stouts are like motor oil. They just pour really viscous and they, you know, you can't see Honestly, through them at you all. you know, this kind of looks like, to me, Coca-Cola. Oh, wow. It looks like Coca-Cola. God, the aroma on that thing. Yeah. You and can, it's got you some can actually like, see through it. Yeah, and it's got ruby bit, notes. So. Ruby. Ruby notes. It yeah. smells amazing. It doesn't smell like any stout I've ever it's not made. totally it's, got, it's not totally opaque. It's well, got a sweet smell to it. Very I'm, malty. I've been having a saunas thing, so I'm not really getting a whole lot off of this. I'm so. getting very malt forward, a little bit of the roast, but like super sweet. Yeah, it kinda, smells like it's gonna be really sweet. I'm almost so. stick it inside of my nostrils. I can smell it. It smells good though. Uh definitely doesn't smell like seventy IBU. It does smell it's it's got Dark, bready, almost raisiny. It's very Co nice. Cocoa very cool. with uh, a coffee note, which you'd get from. I'm not smelling any alcohol. Fifteen to twenty percent. I did it first, but it dissipated. It's I'm almost like a like a spicy coffee note. A spicy holiday bread. Spicy, sw and sweet, like sweet. Um, Maybe more like milk chocolate than dark chocolate. I kind of agree with you with the holiday bread note because the more I smell those, putting those flavors and, together, but I couldn't. And fruity. It does have the, the fruity character yeah. to it, like a berry note almost. Those, I get berry notes with some, some like imperial Some stuff. of those winter beers will have that. Even yeah. nutty, like walnuts yeah, or something. Did, though. Or yeah. dates. And All right. Let's go ahead yeah, and Cheers, folks. Ooh, it's a lot more roasty than you would think based on the aroma. Very dark roasted malt, but not burnt. Not charred, yeah. I like it. Ooh, man, it's got a burn on it. <laughs> I gotta say, this is very smooth for 50, I mean, if this is 20%, let's say this is one that's 20%, it sure as hell doesn't taste like 20%. I just wish you had like one of those little, you know, like cook thermometers you can stick in there and say, okay, well, what's the just to see if they're telling the truth. Yeah. Yeah, yeah probably, it's probably. Like when probably you cook a piece of meat on a grill, you get that, that mm -hmm. Yeah. Probe that goes in and you pull it out so you can get like the correct reading on it. I mean, if they had something like for beer alcohol. Yeah. I'm sure they probably do for like home brewers well, and stuff. And I thought you Police certainly do. They have, pull you uh, over and say, sir, you've been drinking. Would you blow into this? Yeah, that's what we need. One of those. Uh, right. thing. Um, <laughs> I think it tastes more like it's about 15, not 20. It, does, it definitely doesn't taste like, it doesn't taste like 15 either. It tastes to me like maybe 9 or 10. 
All right, well, just I don't know one thing that. we can agree here is it's a well put together beer. I really like it. I like the um, the berry note is not. Re I'm not really picking it up on the palate. I was getting that more on the aroma, that sweet little berry note. It does have some nice caramel notes. Of course, you're getting a little bit of yeah. a little bit of dark chocolate, but not as much as you might think. And that darkly toasted bread in the middle. It's very like bready in the middle, um, but not charred. It's just very it's very rich in that regard, like the roast roasty qualities of the beer. I think one little problem with it though. What's that? It's that it has a little bit of a chalky undertaste. Some of these high gravity beers, they'll start I to think develop. That's, I think that's chalk. the back note off of cocoa. I don't know, but I've had so. Get. I'm not getting. I got some Hershey's baking cocoa right there. You can go ahead and like take a little taste of it, and you'll yeah. get to where it's just, it's just, it's almost like if you if you eat like a regular brownie, you know, like a really rich brownie, you bite into it, it's got those dark chips in it. And you eat it, and it's got that little chalk note on the back. Yeah. That's what I'm getting from this. So you're picking up that chalkiness too. I am too. Yeah. I'm not. And I've but, picked that up in lagers and ales. Don't matter which one. Once they're about 15 percent, 14 to 15, even the Santa Claus, you'll pick that up. And that's something about the Santa Claus I don't like. Maybe, I don't know. I was gonna say maybe the Santa Claus is better than this, but I, I can't. I, I'm not sitting there with Santa Claus right now. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not really getting the chalky thing. Either way, I think we all agree it's, it's well, like you said, well put together. Yeah, and if I drink a um, whole bottle of this, like Santa Claus, I mean, it. makes me feel like I took medicine. No head at all. Right? Yeah, not much. There is some. I mean, if you, you you're getting alcohol legs from it almost, you yeah. know, like you yeah, want alcohol the, legs. The spirit, uh, beer just because of the different than would you get in wine or liquor. Yeah, it's right. just like but a thirty. There, yeah, it's like a thirty proof liqueur. Except with it's, a lot heavier body. It's getting close to the liqueur stage. Yeah, it's a thirty proof. Uh, well, you see, I'm getting a little head of foam swirling it from the malt. You know, um, if y'all looking for hot bitterness, don't. I know it says seventy IBU. And we talked about that proceed. And that's well, seventy IBU. It's got to be that high to balance out all the the malt that you're getting with this and the alcohol. Correct. To kinda, you know. Correct. Maybe tame the alcohol a little bit. But um, definitely doesn't taste like seventy IBU. No. I like the rich, dark brown. It did, that's just what it tastes like to me. Rich, very dark brown bread crust. Right. Spiced a little bit. A little there little is a little bit, yeah, a little bit of the spice. I forgot to mention that. It's coming through. Little mm -hmm. raisins. Spicy. Brownie, brownie yeah. note. Brownie note for sure. With, mm -hmm. with, without the frost, it's just that raw, yeah, the brownie nutty, dough. brownie Cooked. with maybe that, that dark chocolate chip. Not the milk chocolate, but the dark ch chocolate chip that's going to give you that coffee, that the chicory note on the end of it. Oh, that's, that's one thing they there. said. I'm not picking up on coffee with this. It's not brewed with coffee, but they say on the website that you should pick up on some coffee notes. I'm not getting coffee. Not too with much. This. No, I'm getting more of the chocolate. The, and yeah, sometimes the, the chocolate, chocolate and the, and the, and the and coffee bread, notes yeah, would, would kind of spread. Would, would, would kind of like you know marry each other a little bit. Mm -hmm. But I'm not getting coffee on we'll that. Just I don't know, even on a label. Yeah. That they gave us. It's, it's coffee, it's coffee beans. Beans. Yeah. It's, it's a coffee bean label. So if you're so. expecting a lot of coffee flavor, don't. Uh, you might not want to buy this if well, that's what you want. Them. But yeah, they do have the coffee beans on the label as if it is a coffee stout and it's not. So that's one, one of the things I have noticed about leading. coffee stouts that if they sit for a while, like I don't know the age on this one, but if they sit for a while, they kind of it, it kind of dissipates like coke, coconut mm -hmm. does, you know. This, you know, a few other things. This one was bottled on May 9th, 2019. Yeah, so, two months old. Yeah, so it's well within an eighth drink. Right. Yeah, which would be a long. But it says as well, age, 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 age as well, right on the label. So they recommend that you age the spirit. But it's not hot, that. really. No. I, I, I wasn't complaining about the heat. My only complaint was the chalkiness. The chalkiness, which I'm not getting. But that doesn't mean, you know, we, everybody's palate's different. You gotta call um, it as you see it, right? Right, but so, I would give this. Oh, I'm just gonna go with a solid A. It's I'm gonna go with a 95 out of 100. I think it's excellent, um, but it's I don't know. Maybe if the berry notes were coming through on the palate more, like I was getting on the aroma, uh, and then if it had a little bit more body to it, because it is high alcohol, and I mean the color. It's probably the camera's probably not picking it up, but it's bright. It's not. It doesn't even look like a stout. Uh, the color is really light, but it's still a solid A, and I would highly recommend it. 
Um, I'm glad I got to try it. I will say this though, now that I've had it, it's not worth thirty-eight dollars for a four pack. No, and I'm going to go ahead and give this a grade too. I'm going to give this a B plus, and the reason why I'm going to give it a B plus, like you said, one of the indicators toward toward a beer like this is what's advertised on the label. Coffee, you can, yeah. It's coffee. It's coffee beans all over the label. You're not really getting coffee in this. So that, that tells you right there, as soon as you pour it, oh, this is going to be like a coffee stout. And it's weirdly kind of crazy way that they made it really good. And it just didn't come through. It was a little on the thin side. Uh, some of the notes just weren't there. I was expecting something of this uh, caliber. Uh, so... Um, yeah, I'm just gonna give this. I'm gonna give it a B. You got a number like an 85? 85 it is. You know, we gotta put it's a number on it. That's a B. Yeah. Michael Komarov says put the number. Okay. Uh, right? He likes yeah. those numbers. Yeah, it's, 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 it's awfully thin. I mean, you can still see it. It's it's, it's like Coca-Cola thin. Like a porter. Yeah. Exactly like no. It's like probably the. the uh, but it has more body than a. If porter. you just poured it it's and showed it to water. me, I would I would not tell you it was a stat. I'd say yeah, it's a it's a dark ale or it's a you know, port. It's yeah, like that's reasonably corrupted. Right. That we were looking at is built a lot like this. Uh, reasonably prepared. corrupt. Um, yes, from Louisiana. Um, I would say um, about ninety-three. It's that most high. excellent, huh? That high. Yeah. I said ninety-five. I you're think you're saying it with reluctance in your voice, like you don't want to like upset folks. <laughs> yeah, that's just the way I feel about it. I think a ninety-three is fair. Um, if it didn't. Truth. Have, Truth. Well, I have no reason to start lying. All right. I didn't buy it. You bought it. I mean, honestly, I wouldn't have paid thirty-seven ninety-nine for it. I mean, I, well, I'm just telling you the truth. I don't. Truth. I will never see this beer again. Yeah, because I can't get it. Some so. folks out there that can't handle the truth. But go ahead. You can't handle it, man. Yeah, but that's ironic that you, you bring that up. Beer and he would go ahead and give it an A plus. Just he was lying in the movie. He was lying. He was the one lying. You know. Um. So, uh, <clears throat> and you want to tell me how to do it when I do my job? Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to say 93, no, but I give a lot of beers 93. I mean, unless I did a beer today that was a 96. Yeah. And I paid a dollar sixty. Well, I gave the Schaefer what ninety seven. That's a Matt yeah. For good. So well, not Matt. What can yeah, we say? Really hey, what news. can we say? Attention, 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 attention. This beer is done. Yeah, but went down. So, laissez les bon temps roulet. It was, uh, is what it is, and we're going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to Jefferson Parish, Louisiana.